Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, one rental at a time community. This is Matt, the mortgage guy, coming at you with a rate update um, on behalf of my buddy, Mike Zuber, because it's been volatile. And so while um, he's been at sea, I hope it hasn't been as volatile as mortgage rates. I had to throw that in there. Um, if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, do it. I want to mention it because I always forget to. Matt, the mortgage guy on YouTube, 700 plus videos on mortgage, real estate, investing, stuff I'm interested in. Um, let's get to mortgage interest rates, which have not had a good couple weeks. It was less than two weeks ago where we were under uh, 6% for a national average on owner-occupied good credit. I'm going to share my screen because I think visuals um, help most folks. Um, so let me pull this up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Mortgage News Daily, which I reference a lot. You can go on their website. They're not going to try to sell you anything or gather your information. A um, lot different than going to greatmortgagebroker.com, filling up the form and connect with my team. We are collecting your information and we're going to get a hold of you and ask you how we can help you um, secure a mortgage. Greatmortgagebroker.com. That's how you get a hold of me and my team. On with the show. Check out this sharp line. And like I said, this 599 was the 2nd of February. So that was less than two weeks ago. That was 13 days ago. Um, it's been a wild ride. And then up in here, you know, a few days ago, we got an inflation reading that really wasn't a big miss. Inflation still headed down, not as fast as some folks thought, um, but it's spooking the mortgage market, right? 6.75. Let me read you an excerpt from an article I was reading today, which will further spook you. And then I'll tell you some good news. Um, this guy in a Bloomberg interview, DeWar Fricot, um, he's, a, he's like a macro strategist at one of these macro hive. I don't know. We all know that the Fed is planning on pushing the Fed funds rate five, five and a quarter um, you know, which is a few more rate hikes from the current four and a half to four, seven, five range. Um, this guy, Dominique Dwarf Fricot, is talking about possibly where is oh, there it is. Um, this going up to eight percent, which is is wild, um, to think about. 300 more basis points of, of hike in the future. But all in all, I think my hopes, Zuber's own estimations of sub 6% as a 2023 average, um, that is not looking good. If you're on that side of the bet, it's not looking good. I'm still hopeful inflation's coming down. There's a lot of indicators that show that inflation is coming down, maybe not as fast as one would like. Some people are calling some of this, you know, deflationary pressure or some of these, you know, deflationary signals as like transitory deflation. But, you know, we shall see. Um, besides looking at that owner AUK 6.75 as a nas national average there, I wanted to give you guys some feedback on investment property stuff, because I think that's the world that a lot of ORAT members um, follow and live in. So I priced something up, $240,000 purchase, 20%, no, 25% down. If you're an investor, 25% down is much better than 20% down. Um, always has been. The spread seems to be even bigger right now between the 20% and 25%. So if you've got that extra 5%, I would do it. There's some people that don't even consider the fact that like, if 20% costs them an extra 3,000 for a certain rate or an extra 3,500, and that extra 5% is only 8,000 more, put down the extra 8,000, pay 3,500 less in points, smaller loan amount, really truly only net net is a $4,500 difference in how much you put down. If all that math confused you, just go to greatmortgagebroker.com. We'll hold your hand. Um, that is the owner occupied I looked at. Another thing to consider is when you're buying owner occupied, talk to a knowledgeable mortgage professional that knows how to read a rate sheet. Um, I, I heard Matt Ishbia from UWM talking this morning about how everybody knows it. 
Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, wholesale lenders, servicers. Everybody knows that rates are going to be lower in 2024 and 2025. Therefore, they're not going to pay a bunch of yield spread at 699 because they know it'll be refinanced. And so what you're seeing is going from 699 to 599, you know, historically that might be 350 basis points to get that low. It's 150 now. And if 675 is par or six and a half is par, meaning no cost on some people's rate sheets, you might be able to spend, you know, less than a point and go down a full half a percent in rate. Again, if all that stuff confuses you, talk to a knowledgeable mortgage broker who can kind of walk you through that and show you, here's the sweet spot in the rate sheet. Here's where I think that we should land. Here's why break even analysis, all that good stuff. So that's that 25% down investment property. Just wanted to give you guys an idea, $240,000, 25% down. You can still get sub seven for about a point and a half. Uh, if, if you wanted to pay less, uh, like three quarters of a point, you'd be in the mid sevens on an investment property. If you got, yeah, see, you would, you wouldn't pay two points, get you six, seven, nine or something. 699 is the sweet spot on the investment property stuff. About a point and a half cost. So get that credit from the seller, buy it down to 6.99, set it and forget it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Hopefully this was helpful. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave your comments down below. Um, happy to answer those and we'll continue to watch mortgage interest rates because they are volatile. One more time. Add the stream. Woo! That's a sharp uptick.